Uh, all right, that's enough. That's enough Sony stuff. Uh, this week they announced a Dragon's Lair the movie Kickstarter with Don Bluth, famous director and animator, mm-hmm. uh, sort of running the show. A Five Will Goes West. <laughs> yes. American Tale, uh, All, All Dogs, Dogs Go to Heaven, heaven. The, Land Before, the Land Before Time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bunch of knockoffs. That one? was probably the most popular movie he made. Land Before Time. Secret mm-hmm. of Nim, pretty awesome. Yeah, I did Secret of Nim. Uh, but I, I mean, maybe Dragon's Lair might be his most well known. Dragon Slayer property. with Dirk the Daring. Yeah. You walked into it's any arcade that year, and just that yep. track mode would boom through the room. Dragon Slayer was like 1983, I yeah. want to say. Yeah, 83, 84, right around there. And yeah. so, if you know, if any of our younger viewers aren't familiar with it, this is a game that was uh, put on Laserdisc. Mm-hmm. So uh, they were able to put all this very fancy hand-drawn animation into the game. So it literally looks like a cartoon. Yep. Uh, the controls are very simple. Mm-hmm. You're basically just like pushing in the direction of flashing things. So You're that choosing you a track. On the, the you're essentially the CD. controlling yeah. a DVD menu. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're yeah. Kinda, yeah. it's kind of like Simon. That's why You've it, got it, four it, directions <laughs> and a fire button, and the flash on the screen indicates one of those. But you have to be quick. It's mm-hmm. not that sounds really easy, but it screws with you several several different ways. It can flip the screen sometimes. You don't know where the flash is going to come from. Well, and, you, can, and the best thing about Dragon's Lair is dying. Yeah, and every time you die, there's these animations. incredible mm-hmm. animations yeah. of you being like fried or like zapped or eaten by some monster that you didn't see. That you finally get to see what the monster looks like when it eats you. I love that about the game. Yeah. And so it was really expensive at the time. It was fifty cents or sometimes a I mean, dollar. That was. I think that was yeah. the first arcade game I encountered that was fifty cents. Right. Yeah. Like, Whoa. So and like, also that you really just wanted to watch those things happen. Yeah. Those two quarters vanished. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And the game's hard. Fast. It's really hard. Now I did. I, I remember when I was a kid, I watched a guy play all the way through with somebody who was really, really good, and I was just like. Floored. Yeah. Although it probably you know ruined the game for me because I didn't play it nearly as much after that. Mm-hmm. Uh, after after seeing like what went into, but yeah, Sam's right. I think one of the great secrets of Dragon's Lair is it rewarded you for dying. Yeah, it was expensive and those cords went quick, but it was almost fun to die. Yeah, uh, maybe not in the same place every time, but uh, again, some of the uh, the randomization helped with some of that. Yeah, so. you know, I love that game so much that when it came out on Sega CD, when I was you know thirteen or fourteen, I ha- I had to have it, and I totally got it for Sega CD and finally beat Dragon's Lair that way. And it was like you know a terrible low resolution version of it, but I yeah. loved it to death. And like now I know that game, I know every scene in it, and I just like love it. And I would love to uh, revisit that universe in a short movie. I How long really does cool. it take to finish that game? Uh, I think yeah. it's like maybe half an hour. Is really? I thought it was more like fifteen minutes. But yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, you can watch YouTube videos, but I just died all the time. So right. Yeah. I can't remember like a lot. Play, yeah. Playthrough of it. Interesting. But, there's, uh, act- there's hard parts. Even if you know what you're doing, there's definitely really neat hard parts. And, and man, the enemies and the and the things. And the concepts get more and more creative. It's so cool. There's a really neat chess scene. There's like yeah. a knight mm-hmm. that hits the ground with a sword and an electricity yeah. goes around mm-hmm. as a boss fight. There's like a, a scene where it's just balls rolling back and forth. You have to get through. And then in the end, you have a dragon like surrounded by gold and Daphne's in there. And you have to like sneak around this dragon just like The Hobbit. I mean, it looks so much mm-hmm. like the, the mm-hmm. Disney Hobbit movie. And uh, oh, man. Such and a beautiful, fun game. It's got that wonderful quality that Don Bluth's animation has that has an almost grotesque flavor to it. Everything's kind of a little yeah. elongated yeah. and very fluid. And that's what excites me about seeing this as a movie. I, I just think that, that the art in Dragon Slayer works really well for a motion picture. So like the pitch yeah. is like they're doing like a short like with this well, so budget, right? They're, the ask, they're asking for $550,000, which obviously is not enough money to make a full yeah. length animated film. Mm-hmm. But that's going to be used to make a teaser that they can pitch to uh, movie studios <laughs> right. for their funding. Oh, so, that makes sense. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's a weird way to start a movie, but yeah. I mean, so I like, guess that's the way you do it. Inside Out, uh, a CGI animated movie this year, cost $175 million to mm-hmm. make. So they need a lot more than half a million dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Don Bluth worked on a Tapper game. Is that true? I, yeah, on, on I, iPhone, iPad. It was like a, just a remake of Tapper, but he did all the art. Nice. Did that think, ever come out? Or? Yeah, it came out. I, I didn't think it looked really no. that great. I would watch a Tapper movie. Yeah. Tapper movie, yeah. About a disgruntled that's bartender. That's basically what Wreck-It Ralph was. Yeah, actually, if you think so, it, they, they put say, that scene in there. I was going to say cocktail with Tom yeah, Cruise. Yeah, 100%. But. So you guys going to back this? <laughs> What's that? Are you going to back it? Uh, I have not backed it. Um, I, I want to point out, so, it not, so in 24 hours, they did $62,000. Okay. So they didn't exactly like smash their goal in, in 24 mm-hmm. hours. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Well, I they think, still have whatever, 28 days, 29 days. I think the game is just outside of the window of most modern gamers, or yeah. very much outside of the window of most modern gamers. Oh, yeah. And that's I think like, the idea of, of backing something that's only going to make a trailer that will get pitched to a movie theater is, yeah. or to a movie, not a I mean, movie that, theater. That trailer could be really cool. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe if, like if all we got was like a two minute trailer for a Dragon's Lair movie, that might satisfy me. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I don't know, like an hour and a half of Dragon's Lair 
of Dirk the Daring like not talking and you're not gonna get to see him, you're not gonna be able to see him get killed, which is one of the big draws of the game. So it needs, it needs to be a, a Saturday morning budget. cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or maybe they figure out some plot hook where he can die over which and over and over and over again. I mean, maybe that's the gimmick. You just get to watch him die it's, horribly hundred different ways. Dragons there and Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Sort of put there we together. Go. Put together. Yeah. And then, I like that sold. a lot. Sold. Yeah, I'm backing that. You are backing it. Yeah, I'm going to back that. Okay. Is one of the the rewards of Dragon's Lair lunchbox? Because they made those, and I've always wanted one. One of the there were like lapel pins and like <laughs> you can yeah. actually actually I think one of the rewards if you donate several hundred dollars is an animation lesson with Don Bluth. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, oh, so that's pretty cool. I wish I had several hundred dollars. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Anyway, I'll keep an eye on the Dragon's Lair Kickstarter. I don't know if that's going to be able to reach its goal or not. We'll see.